What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana and in this episode um, it's going to be pretty much a whole uh, session on battles because right now um, we are just on the offensive in so many areas that uh, all we can really do is keep fighting, keep fighting, keep pushing. We've got the Dagestan forces on the run. Uh, the Ottomans are starting to cluster on Yerevan, but that's why we have troops pushing up to take them. We have also troops pushing up to keep the Persians um, under pressure. We're advancing towards Jerusalem and Ankara, which is now no longer Ottoman. So yeah, the main thing to do is to keep pushing. I, I'm... Aha! Here it is. Because yeah, that force is going to get attacked as well. But first, we're going to destroy this force under... Kesi Boyunuzu Resid. Mr. Resid, he is now. I'm going to destroy his force and push him north under this uh, pretty uh, pretty vanilla force from Marcel the Rock. So let's attack. Yeah, we are We are squeezing. We are squeezing and the 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 coconut, if you like, of Ottoman strength has cracked and now their overall position. In, uh, in this region is now um, under significant threat and we will be pushing in and taking away their lands. And we need to do it relatively quickly because I do want to push up to help put more Swedish territories under threat. So, I've only got six pounders. Six pounder horse artillery because there are some funky issues around recruiting artillery. So let's maybe actually only put three units in the center of my position because I've got those um, desert militia units. They are not they're not as steady as you would like. They're okay, but they aren't uh, yeah they aren't steady. That's why I do want to drop a bit more line infantry out on the flanks to give them. And that support. Well, Desert Warriors, I'm sorry. But yeah, you can see they don't... They're a bit better in some... Well, I mean, they're a bit better in the melee, but their defence is a lot lower. They'll die a lot quicker. Yeah, not... Might not be a, a choice that lasts um, too long in this army. I'm going to stretch this flank out once battle is ready to be fought. So let's drop our howitzers down. Again, another element that's lacking in this army is its, uh, its lack of heavy cavalry. Because we don't really have an element. We don't really have a way to stop them. Stop any heavy, heavy cavalry element. Again, yeah tried and failed to get some of these uh, units to focus on different elements. My horse artillery attacking this field artillery I'm fine with. So keep pushing. I'm going to push the flank out here. You guys switch to shrapnel shot and load or unload on the sipahi. Again, that's one classic example of... That's just a unit I... I can't really deal with. I mean, I can deal with it through my regular infantry. Actually, yeah, shrapnel them. Why not? Good kills, good kills. And they're broken. So, shrapnel the unit of Muslim. Yeah, but I don't expect my uh, my infantry will not stand up to a Sipahi rush very well. I've got camels, but camels don't do super well against heavy cavalry. Okay, so we've got enemies pushing in on the right flank. Where's my camels? Trundle them up. It's a camel gunner unit. Let's run them up, fire it will on. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine. You guys can now start to attack the Janissaries that are rushing in. The Sipahi are back. You guys 
Get a shrapnel shot at the Muslim. Okay, their howitzers are now f their um, howitzers are now firing on us. So getting my camel gunners. I should have just given them, should have just positioned them and left them to it. Janissaries are routing, which is good news. Push this flank up to help better support the center. Keep my cavalry ready to help support my um, desert militia units. The Sipahi are coming in again. Get you guys into square. You, you will last. Okay, let's try focus more focus on how it says more on units a bit further away from home you guys should be should win against the sipahi so like what we've done on the on the uh, the left flank let's push up our troops on the right you guys chase down the the light nizam infantry You guys push up to threaten this unit of Israeli. So a unit of guns that's no longer under threat, you guys can begin round shotting these camel nomads to the rear. Same with you. What's the Nizam light? And there's a unit of Armenian archers there as well, so let's trundle those camels up. Fire it will on, get my try get my cavalry to attack the archers. You guys try to get a volley off against those camels. No, you decided to turn around. Try to get my desert warriors in there to tip the balance my way. Commit the cavalry. Commit my camels. You guys get in there to support the camel nomads, because my camels are also upset, probably due to Artillery fire. There's hand mortars coming in. That's not great. You guys. Let's get you guys both out of square again. You took a bit of a bit of a hammering. Get my general to chase down the Janissaries. Sweet. Well, this is a bit of a rout, isn't it? You guys pivot to just try and shoot the hand mortar block. All my artillery. Ceasefire, except for you. Shrapnel shot the Sorelli, although they are not likely to be in the game for too long. So you're chasing down the general's bodyguard. You've got the hand mortars. Get these camels after the archers. Yeah, we definitely do want to keep killing units, because we now the enemy is routing. Okay, you attack the Nizam infantry first. Because you're going to be shooting at those Israeli. Okay, you don't bother chasing down the general's bodyguard. Anyone that's routing away quickly, don't worry. I mean, that's a Muslim unit, which isn't really what I'm that bothered about, but I think we've got plenty of assets around to do the damage we want to do. So when this guy's finished killing the last cavalry unit, you can chase down the Israeli unit there. You guys are going to carry on chasing the archers down. My militia are winded, but their guys are tired, so we will slowly chase them down. Yeah, you guys chase down the archers. You guys have all ceased fire. Camel mercenaries have got a unit of Armenian archers that's come back, so charge them down. General's still killing Janissaries. Come on, 
you're not far off from killing the Armenian archer unit. So let's call off my desert militia pursuit and get my light cavalry on the way through. Again, the battle isn't over because we are chasing down Armenian archers. So it might take a bit of time for that action to complete. Yeah, let's just speed up time while it's all ongoing. Turn fire it will on, because if they're going to chase them down you may as well. I mean I don't know, well it's, it'll be because it's skirmish mode they're doing this. Good, you guys have killed the, some good infantry there. These guys will rout immediately because they've got so many men. But well, when they rout, they'll leave the field immediately because they're so close. Yeah, there we go. We actually fought for a minute. Let's continue. Get all the cavalry over here against these Israeli. My general are trying to chase down that unit over there, but there's they, they are too far away. So now it's everyone versus this last Israeli unit. At high speed. Let's get you guys involved as well, because why not? More cavalry, more effective slaughter. Yeah, there goes the fifth. Quite sure where the flag is for them though. No. Oh. Okay, they're probably gonna rout because they managed to successfully scatter. So yeah, this is what it normally happens once they've um <clears throat> once they snag on trees. They'll stretch out into a big line because they want to go one way, then for whatever reason the pathfinding will say no go this way, then they'll change direction. So there we go. Lost three hundred men, they lost two thousand six hundred and ninety-nine. My cavalry, my cavalry, my camels are up the top. There's a warriors though, 208. Pretty good. Back you go. Immediately. So you guys replenish. So you're replenishing. My lord. You're replenishing. We need to go hit Emir Siri to push him north. Again, we do know that there's a big pocket of them at Damascus. I don't think I've got any suitable spies. See, this army up here is hunkering down, <laughs> ready for another <laughs> another bombardment from Dagestan troops. We also have Remy Bousset. Let's go and attack this Ottoman force and send them north. You've also got some sieges to fight in Europe as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next... Episode or two is almost exclusively just a series of battles. <laughs> there won't be any building, there won't be any infrastructure investment, it will just be fight after fight after fight. Oh, we've got some lovely Gurkhas. So, they've got mostly archers. So I'm going to want to push up and advance. Well, I'm going to want to advance and envelop. Well, my Gurkhas, a unit of Gurkhas on either flank, backed up by some good cavalry. Good. And my howitzers sit at the back, unleashing hell. The general, keep an eye on the center. Huh. Okay, so most of their units are hidden. So get the cuirassier and the native Indian cavalry up front first, because they've got cavalry to deal with. The Gurkhas can walk. The Mamluks are trying to intercept, but that's not going to happen. Run the Gurkhas in to catch them. Catch them off balance. 
cuirassier go in, but let my East India Company infantry be up front, so they will take the volley. And let's also run my Gurkhas up now that battle has been joined. You guys drop into square because you ran, so you're a bit vulnerable. You guys all drop into square, more than happy to just check aboard. Keep my cuirassier running. Keep my just keep my cavalry on this right flank advancing. Get my Gurkhas in to help fight this scrappy battle over here. Okay, you guys also drop into square then. Could really, could could probably use with, do with bringing some of this cavalry back. We also want to take advantage of the fact that they have got absolutely piss poor infantry. And you can see their camel, their cavalry is trying to drive through my squares, but I've got Gurkhas and I've got my cuirassier, so this flank's broken. Fair enough. Those cav, those um. Fair enough that those infantry did break. Go on, Gurkhas, clear them out. These two infantry units march up out of square to put the archers under threat. There go the Tartar, get the Gurkhas to charge onto that infantry unit. Get my cavalry, get my Gurkhas to run in in the center. Get my artillery to attack the general. My Gurkhas should do a real number on these Mamelukes. You guys charge the Mamelukes there. These guys should be pouring fire into the archers, which is lovely. Curacier hit the Mamelukes. This East India Company cavalry hit that unit of archers. The archers have actually got involved now. But that's not going to go well for them. Not when I've got my, my Gurkha boys. You guys charge in, push the flank with you guys. Okay, so get my cavalry back out of here in certain areas. We've taken out their general. Gurkha boys have caused the this the collapse of almost this entire unit. Those Tatar have got a charge off again. Mamelukes are getting involved. So then my artillery that's currently dropping quick climb, well, or not dropping quick climb as the case may be. Okay, this entire line. of infantry form back up. Gurkhas form up behind them. Get those Gurkhas to charge. Let's switch all my artillery to round shot. My, my field artillery isn't even unlimbered. My Gurkhas can charge those archers. Horse guards charge the sec ban. Let's get this regiment of Indian cavalry in. Let's get you guys in. Let's get you guys in. You guys run up front. Yeah, just slaughter them. The archers will not like these will not like these Gurkha chaps getting involved. You men, cease fire, get the Gurkhas involved. Those cuirassiers are going to charge into that unit of Armenian archers. Let's get my general's bodyguard involved. All these units don't even fire. Switch my howitzer fire. Slaughter. You charge that unit of archers because they're the last one remaining. 
sandwich between two Gurkha units. <laughs> I'm going to continue, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Gurkhas and get them out of out of the way so my general can attack this unit and try gain some valuable experience. So you've knocked out that archer unit. Go chase down them. Yes. So no cuirassier aren't really the units to do the pursuing job with. But that's fine. They can as long as they can run faster than a person. That's all. It's the only real criteria you need. Okay, right. So that cuirassier unit's completed their job. There is a unit all the way back there that's not being chased, but that's too far to be worth worrying about. Okay, those guys have successfully spread out, so that's going to cause some problems. These guys, on the other hand, not so much. So you're going to go after them as well, as are you. one guy left so you kill him he looked like he was bugging out trying to jump over a fence stop my artillery from firing it now it actually is okay, let's focus on you because you've got the fewest cavalry units in support okay now it's all of you against this one armenian archer and he's done good stuff 700 men lost for 2,692. Again, pretty good. Got my general up in experience level. How are my... How are my Gurkhas doing? In terms of... Well, not how are they, how are they doing. Okay, they've gone from nothing to two, and from one to two. They haven't lost a huge amount of men, so they should keep that. Forward for crown and country. So you guys replenish, and you can advance up. Onward, your You're going to advance up. I could read it with a spy going down to Damascus, or I could just edge this guy a little bit closer and get you pushing that way. Because these guys want to replenish before pushing this pocket here. Mo pretty much all of our other armies are, re are depleted and require some form of replenishment in the Middle East. Obviously over here, the, uh, Swedish, are, the Swedish are coming. We're waiting for the military governor's barracks to be built. I may as well build the settlement fortifications in case they decide to be silly. We do have reinforcements coming up, pushing up towards Kazan. But then, over here, we have... You could put... Uh, hmm. So first we're going to have the Battle of Breslau to fight first. I want you to be... to move up a bit. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. I want you to be ready and replenished before I send these guys across to Königsberg. I want them both to be in fighting shape. But it does mean Amadio Mortier, very experienced. We can fight and attack the city of Breslau. So then we control a critical crossing point over this side of the river and it's helping uh, squeeze the Austrians into a bit of a bottleneck. And then we can keep pushing in Italy, keep pushing in Northern Europe. Ultimately, soon the Austrians won't have anywhere to go. And that will be quite a delightful result, I think. <laughs> Pretty cruddy artillery position. Should really have checked that out beforehand. But we've got one bugged out unit with a massive artillery crew. And the bugginess with the howitzers has helped us out. So we're probably going to want to have a fairly good contingent to advance towards the walls. Have a good... I oh know, Fusiliers definitely advance, the, advance towards the wall. Because they're a bit pants when it comes to... Melee fighting, spread out some of our infantry into the woods. 
can. I don't know why the game decides does this at times. Because look, it should be 90 men, but for some reason they've just gone eh, 149. Fine, fair enough. And my general is going to hunker down to the side. Okay, you guys both attack one section of the wall. This one howitzer unit drop quick climb in the middle because that is going to be beautiful. Ah, oh, so much good cavalry in here. Ah, oh. because they've got the you know, mortar garrison's been taken down. Hussars, Grenadier Guards, Hussars, Provincial Cavalry. That's the that's the main goal here. If we can whittle down... I mean, I don't know where the rest of their garrison is, really. But our field artillery are going to blow open this section of the wall, which if they time it right, that could go crazy well. And I'm happy with my howitzers focusing on this area in the centre, because the, uh, the targets for quick climb later on when it comes to attacking these infantry units is better once there is a breach more quick climb <sighs> so useful and it's because it's got that area of effect it does extend beyond its like I'm attack I'm attack grounding within its radius and then it just it still has that AOE that AOE side Okay, and you guys all focus on that side of the wall. There we go. So one howitzer has knackered their uh, cavalry cavalry contingent in the centre. Played it out. So how are their mortars doing? Two guys, which means they can't really garrison any mortars. They might fire... They might get one mortar firing, but it does mean I can push up my infantry line as well as my surprise infantry attack there we go see this is just, this is just one howitzer and because they have no reinforcements we don't care if any units actually die As my units crest this hill. Glorious white coats of Louisiana troops. The 7th Regiment. You must have suffered on the way because you've been fighting for so long and you've still only got two experience levels. Compared to this unit, it's been fighting relatively recently because it doesn't have a infantry like designator number. They've run out. It's experience four. So the mortars attack ground, even if it's not somewhere that the shot can technically reach, like here. The shell can't come down vertically and hit that spot, but it does hit here and it does go through the wall. Like that. <laughs> so don't ever expect, don't ever treat walls as good cover, because it's not. So then this unit, well, this formation here, can run because our units here... Okay, you guys, I'm not expecting to um, be able to advance through the gate. I'm expecting that we will get some... There will be some issues around trying to scale the walls. I am also anticipating a bit of a suicide run. Oh yeah, well there you go. So I've halted my fusiliers. <laughs> Sounded like it was one guy going, whoa! But yeah. They may simply begin to suicide out. Not an entirely silly idea. This garrison infantry... It's two units here. Militia and garrison line. Oh. They are attempting to hold the walls. Sounds like a charge is going to happening to me. 
so we form a square here to block the cavalry that's coming out of the out of the gatehouse immediately. So the men have collapsed. And then we try and do the same here. So they aren't the unit that's climbing, but when the when the, the, the cavalry charge out, they'll hit our uh, they'll hit our units, and they'll be done for. Form some killing boxes around the around the breach, just in case they attempt to charge out. I mainly want to try and get a, a foothold. Um, on these walls. That doesn't mean just letting a lot of my guys climb up. See, they charge out and they hit a square formation. They might do some damage to the units like this, unit of the 80th, um, but it won't really be a significant event. We are witnessing charges. Yep. The AI knows they're done for. This militia unit is going to charge through the gate, so I may as well get these guys out of square and get them pushing in. May as well get some infantry pushing in here. May as well get you guys to charge the fourth foot guards, because they're down to 93 men. you guys to also attack them. Fusiliers, don't worry, just stop firing. We have... Oh, some of the Provincial Cav is still running around outside. I wonder... I doubt I can get them to... I could run in and form up before they charge me. But yeah. The trick when it comes to attacking the breaches in my experience is very much you feed in units at a time you don't swarm it because it just seems to make the game chug really quite badly I want these guys to get up on the wall and stand on the fire steps and shoot down all this cavalry I don't mind having one bait infantry unit in there Yeah, the sixth foot guards are putting up a valiant effort, but I fear it will come to nothing. See, the superior line infantry will be doing their own. Will be holding their own. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. And the 18th regiment actually is aiming at an inf aiming at the artillery, but because it's aiming at the artillery, it's treated as an infantry target, so they are firing by rank. Look at this little hero holding off the hussar. But will he get him though? That's the question. Everyone else is doing their firing drills and he's like, I'm not having any of that. Look at that, he's doing his rolls. No. Oh, he's two times, he's left him. Oh, he's been shot off his horse by the guys up the top. Very well. Charge. You guys charge the guns. Get the men off the walls. Yeah, but see that's so there's only twelve men there, so you can just use your the mass of men. You can just run past them because it's not enough to actually stop them. Charge the general's bodyguard. It might technically be, be better to shoot him, but nah. Actually, you know, don't get into the garrison headquarters. That's a terrible idea. You men, charge the militia in the back. Just swarm in. You attack the mortars. You guys attack. General's bodyguard. Take him out. He's surrounded by the bodies of his men, as it is. 
and everyone else just charge the Swedes in the rear pretty much everywhere else. I can even get my Fusiliers involved now. The General's fallen. It's one last... Oh, we lost a, a gatehouse somewhere. So it's the last of the General's aides bravely holding on but there's a whole bunch of guys with bayonets with his name on it. Let's get you guys off the wall and charging as well. I expect what we will see is they'll just all break. There we go, you men hold your position here. Get involved, get everyone in. Yeah, that's a few units broke, have broken. The defence over... Yeah, the entire defence is just broken. And all because of glorious click, quick lime. All hail the lime. Hurrah. Breslau was secured. For the greater Louisiana Empire. So let's repair the building. Let's replenish our troops. Let's build the farm. We don't have any universities to worry about. You've got a College of Divinity, which is <gasps> Protestant. Let's get rid of you. You're in an absolute nest of Austrian troops. You're actually going to stay where you are, lest you trigger any attacks. You're replenishing. Okay, I think... Well, is it technically better to take out Turin first. Hmm. Turin or Bavaria? I mean, if we take out Bavaria, we can just start funneling troops down through this gap here, so that could not might not be a bad idea. Declare war! So I want to stand here. To try and trigger that Bavarian troop to get sucked into a river battle. Push you up into the territory here to box them in a bit more. Let's get a spy down to Zagreb. There you, Felix Larocque. You deal with that random, well, random, just a. That lone Austrian army. You ask too much. Okay, so we've started the war with... We've started the war with Bavaria. This force is going to go here. To prevent the Bavarians from breaking out to the west. To punish the Wine Estates. Let's take Bertrand Molyneux. And let's take Turin. Because that will also... Um, remove them. I think I think it will actually remove Turin Savoy from the game. I believe. Settlement but let's take Turin. Let's begin our our offensive in northern Italy. And then after this, we'll probably take um, ship my army across to go and invade Cagliari and knock out the Spanish from the. Uh, Knock out Spanish from the game as well. But yeah, lots of battles, but lots of important things happening. That's the the thing to remember, is that we are now. We're in the end game. Yeah, so we need to keep the keep the event keep the offensives going, keep the pressure going. And I mean, in this this instance, we've got some beautiful artillery here. So much so, I might even have you focus on one breach alone, you focus on another. Howitzers in the middle to split their fire whichever way they like. My, my fusiliers are going to have to. S they might not be assaulting the breaches, but they might be um, guarding them, if you like. They'll be there preventing them from breaking out, but keeping the enemy. Um, keeping the enemy allocating def um, troops to actually defend that breach. And I might put you guys... I don't know, you guys might actually form separate assault companies for each flank. 
Let's do that. Good. If I had a third artillery unit, it might even be worth might might have been worth placing them back here to see if they can shoot into the town, but so you crack open there, you crack open there. Uh, focus fire that mortar battery for now rather than attacking the you see we're not so bothered about the cavalry it's these chaps here that are manning the manning their manning their mortars getting them down to two is fine two is not enough to man any of their artillery so now let's give them actual specific targets Because they have horse artillery, which I'm not bothered by. Oh, they have another mortar unit back here. Well, getting them down to one is better than... Them having one is better than them having two. Let's speed up time. Because right now all we've got is glorious artillery fire coming in. Beautiful quick climb. It's so, so good. Yeah, you pretty much want to knock out... Well, it would be faster... Well, obviously it would be faster to have two units firing at each breach, but it would, it's nice to have... It's nice to open them both up at the same time, because it does force them to spread their troops out, and that way, whichever, whichever side naturally feels a bit more advantageous, we can focus on one flank, but keep them keep the um, the Savoy needing to uh, pretend to, uh, to protect two flanks. It's not possible to destroy this walkway, but you can damage this. So I think you can trap people maybe here, maybe, but you can't really do the same things. You can't really do the same things on this sort of fortification that you can on the next level. Yeah, really just really crack it open. Like it's a beautiful fortification, but I just never these these never really you never fight in these as well as as the smaller ones. Like these are a bit well these can be a bit trickier to defend. You might actually dro start dropping some to try and interfere with that mortar garrison. The mortar unit, which you've already have done, knocked down to five men. So this artillery unit, you keep slamming shells into the breach and killing men that are defending it. Let's get both our howitzers focus on clearing out these scallywags in the centre. Because I think now's the time. Fundamentally. With our, with our artillery back here doing glorious work, actually, well, you you can focus a bit more centrally because you've got a bit less range. You can just about squeeze to attack that battery. But let's begin. Let us begin. So if they wish to press to push us, then they can. Could so you guys do the same thing? Just Fire shells into the breach. You're not actually doing it, but it's... It does work. Although you're going to shoot some of my own guys, I'll allow it. But yeah, firing shells in this, it does... Firing them like this, it does work. You do just... You do more damage rather than just letting, having them sat there doing nothing. Yeah, as the artillery comes in, three more to... Three more to crewmen there. Let's push up our assault companies on either flank. I think, I mean, I think you've probably done enough attacking of the mortars. So this unit that was attacking the mortars can instead attack the flank. This looks like this is the flank. This is the side they're strongest on. It's 
still just lobbing shells into the middle. So they're still firing one mortar, but again, that's a lot better than the two batteries they did have. So let's make our chaps run. Let's complicate their targeting problem by having them giving them so many targets they can't actually focus on one element. So you could probably do a firing upon the fifth. That's a big block of actual line infantry. You guys can probably stand to attack. Maybe this unit of infantry. The artillery shots are still landing in the breach. Yeah, we are. We are, we are getting some musket shots and now I hear a charge. Okay, so a good quick climb shot here would be great about now. Yes. Let's get these men to scale the walls. Try to capture it for our cavalry. We want to get access to our for our cavalry to get in. There we go. We have some. We have a, ch a bit of a charge from the garrison line, but that's not great for them. now we've got our fusiliers firing by rank into them. You thought this was a good idea and we also have our chasseur a pied that will be devastating at such short range. Eighty-two men, eighty-three men, yeah not not the best idea, Savoy. I mean, if I'm being brutally honest. There you go, these marines can attack and destroy the 4th regiment. Okay, let's retarget our howitzers. Just keep dropping them in the middle now. Because there's no... God. Okay. So you know how I said I didn't really want my... Fusiliers attacking any particular breach. Well. So we've got another unit. We have the second coming down to take their position. That's fine. So the main effort is going to be to get you guys to take that gatehouse. Get you guys to take this gatehouse. So I've got all this heavy cavalry in, which will do great against the Savoyard. Okay, so we might have a... Okay, we have a cavalry charge. My chasseur can try and deploy stakes. My fusiliers are going to stay firing. Get my cuirassier and get my hussars inside. The idea is if I can keep some of my units, keep my fusiliers firing. Eh, it looks like they aren't actually going to charge out, and I am losing a handful of chasseurs to the uh, to the attack. Okay, howitzers. Start dropping them right here. Attack that breach at Attack that breach aggressively. Just avoid their cavalry. Run for the middle. Let these men secure the walls. I mean these are fusiliers, they're not. The melee 
attack is 8, defense 13, compared to line infantry 11, defense 16. If I push them in, I mean here it wouldn't be so bad, it's all fire lock arm citizenry, but... Here, the main... The main effort will be to send down my marines. Let's just get my howitzers to stop. Get my field artillery to stop. But yeah, my my cavalry's just gonna clean them out. You could attack the second, maybe, but... No? I mean, it looks like my marines don't want to fight. Not these guys. There we go. Just take him out. get everyone in. These guys are going to dismantle a third regiment before they get in. Get these marines to just attack the first regiment provincial cavalry because they've not really got much else to do. The regiment of horses going down. That provincial cavalry is ne was never ever going to stand against my cuirassier. Marines in to help out. Yeah, like the third regiment have just advanced outside of the breach. It's like, eh, don't even need to worry about doing anything about them. They're just gonna get shot to pieces. You avoid the first regiment and go after that line infantry unit. Kill that last cavalryman. It's only a regiment of horse, guy. Granted he's a bit more armoured than you are. There we go. I want my... Hussars to hold the centre, and I want my cuirassier to get in and do the killing. Well there we go. You guys can now just walk in. You guys can charge the uh, Savoy in the rear, but it looks like they've been broken. You can try charge them, but you might not have time. No, you don't. Sweet. So that is Turin taken. With only the loss of 300 men. So let's repair the Royal Palace. Replenish our troops. Let's build up the economy, build up the roads. Yes, sir. You're I'm keen to get this guy into action because he's got the Tyrallier, the light yes, infantry. Got so you guys advance to the north side of this river. Yes, sir. I mean, you guys need to. So we've got you guys to the north. You can be shipped across. Under sail. Sir. Set sail. There we go. Ready. For so let's get the spy to march his way towards Rome. Might take him a few. It will take him a few turns, but that's okay. Ferdinand de la Flotte, you can go towards where the action is in in Munich, because you're going to drive south through this pass and attack Venice and lots of other good stuff. So we take one of these sloops out of this port, Olivier Bousset. Again, that's a guy we've we've had for a while. Let's embark him aboard ship. Let's sail him over to. Firstly, let's have a look at what we've got over here. Because we've also got Genoa. Okay, it might just be easy. Okay, let's see what we're fighting around Spain. Okay, I can sneak my way through. Land my army and then get you 
back to Cartagena. You guys go into Palma de Mallorca. So the Austrians haul a bit of the northern North African coast, but that's okay. We will be there shortly. The Spanish fleet. Oh yeah, this Spanish fleet, I'm just going to engage with my force down here. Although, to be honest, it's pretty knackered. And there's lots of actual small ships, so I might just... Blip. Let's just knock it out. Our fleet is just... I mean, yeah. Lots of their big ships are pretty knackered, and they've got so many brigs and sloops, it's just... I don't even I don't even need the ships that they will I don't even need the ships they'll have. I've got such a massive recruitment recruiting capacity that I can and such a massive treasury I can just Well, there we go. I can weather those losses pretty well. All I really need is this army to replenish so they can cross over and hit Morocco. Oh, oh come on. The same way that this guy is going to attack Lisbon, because it's one of <laughs> one of the few. So I think Spain, Spain's down to Lisbon, Morocco, and Cagliari. So if we take out Lisbon with this force that's been fighting for an awful long time, because they've got the Royal Escasse, and Lisbon has no defences, so this should be a pretty aggressive battle. But that. I think uh, this will be this will be quite a productive end turn phase because that's be, that will have been two battles against the Bogles. We've taken that territory in. We've taken um, Breslau. I think it's Breslau. We've taken Breslau. We've taken Turin, and we'll have taken Lisbon. But five five battles with three cities captured in one turn. It's pretty pretty good turnover. So because they've got mortars, we want to be aggressive. We're going to fight. Have an almighty gun line behind the town. I want my Escosse and Grenadiers to go through the town. And let's create two units to flank around either side. At speed, it should be noted. Because you don't want to be under fire from those mortars for too long. Although it looks like they are. They want to come up and have a bit of a scrap as well. So that's one unit of mortars there exposed a bit. So we might suffer some difficulty with these. Royal Cuirassier Guard, but that mortar unit's as good as dead. These guys are actually hitting their own buildings for quite a while. We're going to have an interesting engagement here. We might actually divert one set of guns to support this engagement. Spread my line out a bit more. Let's push my cavalry up a bit further. I was expecting these horse guards to be try and charge me and knock me off balance a bit, but it appears they haven't. We're going to let this mortar garrison be chewed up. Push our, push our guards up to the headland. We've got a royal uh, Spanish Lusitania regiment of dragoons. They can't make up their mind who they're going to charge. This light horse unit is... Okay, get you guys to intercept that regiment of horse. Pivot you guys to avoid the combat. Actually, let's just take you guys and advance you straight up. Like this. The horse cuirassier guards have rather sportingly close to pistol range to engage me. Let's get my light cavalry back out of there. They are! They're shooting pistols at us! Terrible strategy. So, let's advance. Let's advance into the town. That's what the guards' battalions are here to do. No, you don't really have an angle on the 
You don't really have an angle on the howitzers yet. What you do have an angle on is watching these guys all get shot to bits. So the Corso Terrestre, they look like quite a decent... A good, they're, they're an interesting looking unit. They look more like the uh, the Spanish Partisans. That, well, to me, they fit the, the image of what I would imagine a Spanish Partisan to look like in the Napoleonic Wars. So we've got a traditional battle on one flank and we've got a bit of a, a melee engagement emerging in the centre and on the left. Going to want to be careful about committing my cavalry. A, they have lots of spikes and B, there's a lot more of them. Okay, good. You've got a line on the artillery in the centre. Get the grenadiers in against the militia and get the infantry in to support. Town hall has been destroyed. So all three of these units are engaging this unit of expat infantry. Now you guys charge the militia. These Royal Escossais, they're stretched out a bit. They're a bit on their own, but I'm hoping by running around that section of the combat, I can get some infantry in in the rear of this fight here. The Grenadier is obviously going to do a stupendous job. Oh, there's our enemy Cassier. I see. Let's get the General in to try. He can, he can fight those light infantry on foot. This infantry formation advance. You guys in to try and provide some help to the Royal Escossais. You guys can fight that regiment of dragoons. Fight that Hussar unit. Yeah, that's the yes, it's a light foot Royal Irish Regiment. No, General, stay away. You guys chase down the infantry unit there. You guys open up and destroy the 6th regiment and then you can begin to push into the town itself. I might actually dispatch one unit to do that. Well no, I can't really. You're going to run in front of their line of fire. Got to be really careful with this combat because it is being fought along a a defensive a defensive uh, spike a defensive spike thing. So much so, I'm actually not going to charge. I'm going to see if I can coax the Irish regiment out, and I can. No, you go stay in square. Okay. Hit the Swiss Grenadiers. They're the next target. Okay, let's change. My artillery's gonna do nothing useful here. There we go, this unit of Royal Escossais has fought valiantly in the bloody ways in which you would expect a Grenadier to fight. So let's get these two units to attack. The tent, these two units push up. You get the coverage run up this street here. You guys turn around and help help the uh, the first foot guards fight against the second regiment of light infantry you guys chase down the fourth regiment backed up by these grenadiers no you guys turn around and help out get 
There we go, the Nile Grenadier Brigade. Brigade. Can push on through the town and attack the second light foot that's done so much damage to the first foot guard Escossais. But that is the Spanish city taken for the glory of the Louisiana Empire. Long may it live. So we've got... Yeah. We did lose a lot of men doing it, but it was more interesting that way, I think. So obviously they really don't like us. Again, it's understandable. Um, but the big thing is they have a university, so we want to get rid of that. Don't want them free thinking. And knocking that down will yeah, we'll get rid of this clamour for reform and make us positive across the board. Good stuff. So then we want... Yes, my lord. Okay, you guys are all... Going there. But let's recruit one... Militia unit just to evict this Spanish fleet. Let's upgrade their industrial buildings to top tier... In to top tier units. We've still... No, no villages left. So then this force here in Spain, you need three foot artillery and try to get an interesting... Oh, don't tell me you also can't get artillery. Okay, let's get you down here. But don't worry, soon you will fall, Tangier, the new capital of the Spanish Empire. You could attack... No, you can't attack. You're out of, you're out of movement points. So you're likely to be counter-attacked more than anything. We've nearly got a full army here in Sweden. One more turn. Let's upgrade you. These units I can't really move yet. Obviously at Corland, they're still trying to patch things up. But yeah, one more turn. One turn and we'll see who's... Uh, well, we're going to hit and turn and see how things change. Ready. All my replenishment's still ongoing across the board. Anything more? And let's see. The Austria drawing on the resources of Warsaw. To help, to help fill in the gaps of their empire, but Warsaw is one of our targets. Yeah, you can try run around us if you like, but you know what's going to happen. It is interesting. They've they've not got yeah. So they're they're moving up through the pass the same way that we were. Hoping to move down. I mean, they do have the Austrian rebels there, so you have to wonder if, you know, in that one in a million shard, the Austrian rebels are about to go and capture Vienna. Uh, which, spoiler alert, they're not, but, you know, one can dream. Do I want to intercept? Absolutely not, because that's everything they got. And it's just one unit of one army, so no. Opportunity to intercept here. I think it probably will, because this first army is very depleted, the second army is reasonable strength, but it's not, it's not a full army, and then this last army here is again another depleted force. So I am going to intercept this, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for yet another episode of the Louisiana Campaign. Cheers everyone.